Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Zemen Outdoors. I know I've been talking about this over the past couple of videos, but today is finally the day to get some new strings on my bow. I did Texas archery in Spring, Texas. I've been there a few times. I really enjoy the guys there. They seem to want to work with you and help you out quite a bit. So I'm going to head back there and get my new strings put on. The strings I'm putting on are the VEC 99 strings from Catfish Custom Strings. So if you haven't checked them out, I would go ahead and take a look at them. I've only heard great things. This is my first set of strings I've replaced, so I really had no idea what I was doing. And Mike over there helped me out a ton. Here's his business card. I'll put a link in the description to his website and put his info in the description as well. He was really helpful in helping pick out the strings. Told me exactly what each type of string did what I needed on the strings and he got me all set up. I ordered quickly, the price was pretty good price point compared to some of the other manufacturers out there. And the shipping was within three to five days. I mean, it was, it was pretty speedy. So I was very happy with the customer service that he has. And so far, I only heard great things about his strings. So we'll go ahead and get loaded up and head over to Texas Archery to put these strings on. I'm here at Texas Archery, just dropped my bow off. They said it was gonna be a day or two to restring it. I guess they're really busy right now. So I had to leave it there and they'll call me when it's done and I'll come back and pick it up. They said they'll restring it, tune it, do the whole nine yards and I'll come back and take some shots to make sure the peep's good to go and that my nose button's set up correctly and we'll take some videos and pictures of me doing that. All right, so we're back home here. I've got my new strings on the bow. I've taken about 50 to 100 shots or so. And I feel like I've worked the strings in pretty well. The peep's pretty good. I ended up keeping the peep and peep tubing. I talked to the guy at the shop and he said, honestly, it's kind of worth keeping. You don't really have to fight with it twisting or anything. So for now, I'm gonna keep that and just see how well it does. I will keep some of this tubing on hand for when I go hunting in case it breaks though. Like I mentioned before, I did get these strings from Mike at Catfish Custom Strings. He really helped me out. I mean, he made this super easy to pick out which strings I needed, what colors I wanted, shipped to me quickly. So I can't thank him enough for that. If you are interested in some of his strings, I'll put a link in the description below and I'll throw his business card up on the screen here for you as well. I'm gonna take a few more shots. I've gotten the pin sighted in at about 20 yards. I haven't sighted anything beyond that since I can only go out to about 27, 28 yards in my backyard. But I will say this bow just shoots so much smoother than it used to with these new strings on it. Also, I did grind the sight down a little bit so I could fit it on the lowest pin. As you can see, I am using this green pin that's up here at the top now for the 20, whereas previously I had the top pin all the way at the top and I wasn't using it in my orange or red pin here was even lower than it's sitting now and that was my 20. So dropping this down plus the addition of the new strings has made a world of a difference on getting this sight to work. I may be able to get 20, 30, 40 and use 40 as my moving pin. I'll do another video later on how I set that up and getting my tape set as well. But in this video I did want to talk about the arrows I plan on testing this year for my 2021 bow setup. So I do plan on testing my Beeman ICS arrows because honestly, part of me wants to see how much of a difference all this new equipment has made. With the new rest, the new strings, and the new sight, I feel like I almost have a completely new bow. So I'm kind of curious if my hand load is actually different than what it was before. Not to mention, 
if I can save some money by reusing the same arrows I've been using this past season, I'll go ahead and do that. I also bought some Victory TKO arrows to test out. I've heard great things about them and I just wanted to give another arrow a test. I'm gonna focus really on those two arrows to start, but I do have the gold tips and the serious arrows that I shot last year as well if these two arrows just don't work out for me. I do have a 300 and a 340 spine for all my arrows. So that'll be the spine that I'm testing out. I will also be testing from 100 grain all the way up to 300 grain field tips. So there are a few things I'm gonna do a little bit differently this year. One is I do plan on hunting with Luminox. So I'm gonna do all my testing with my Luminox because that does add some weight to the back. And you could add you know, tape or some weight or something like that, but I want this to be as realistic as possible. So I plan on testing with the Luminox. Last year, my goal was to get the heaviest possible arrow that shot well out of my bow. However, the more research I've done, the more I would like to find a happy medium between heavy and fast. I missed two deer this year, mostly because of user error, but at 20 to 25 yards, they had a ton of time to drop and move because of how slow my arrows were. So I do want to keep with a heavy setup, but try and maximize my speed by choosing one of the lighter options that still shoots well out of my bow. Another thing is that last year, I really had a lot of frustrations in the process. I was trying so hard to get a absolutely perfect bullet hole because I figured there was nothing else I could do once I picked that arrow. However, watching a bunch of Nate's videos with Avid Jack Archery, there's a lot of modifications and adjustments that you could do with your bow to make sure you're shooting that perfect bullet hole. Not to mention your fletchings will make up for any minor tears. So this year I'm really gonna focus on making sure I have very good arrow flight. I'm getting the smallest possible tear. And then I'm gonna focus on tuning my bow to make sure that I have the best arrow flight possible for my arrow and my bow setup. I really hope you all enjoyed this video as well as me going through and showing you my upgrades to my bow. If y'all are interested in my arrow selection process and how I'm gonna go about picking my arrow for the 2021 season, as well as how I'm going to tune it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching.